Hi, it's Kerry from Super Fun Reviews. Today I have some amazing marine reptiles for my aquarium. Stay for the battle at the end between a Mosasaurus and Pliosaurus. Tell me what your favourite marine reptile is. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like marine reptiles. Elasmosaurus lived in the ocean and breathed air like a turtle. It was a slow swimmer, using its flippers like a turtle. It ate fish and other swimming animals and had a very long neck with four paddle shaped flippers, a tiny head with sharp teeth and strong jaws with a pointed tail. It could grow to 46 feet, although half of that was neck as you can see. Pylosaurus means swollen lizard referring to its shape. It was a mosasaur and ate fish and other swimming animals using its powerful streamlined body and four paddle like limbs to move through the water. The large head had many teeth which were used for hunting fish, turtles, mollusks and shellfish. Romaliosaurus could grow to 20 feet or 6 meters long. The invertebrate organisms living on the underside is a nice touch as well. It ate fish, squid and other marine reptiles. It had a large head and numerous sharp teeth. It is a pliosaur and had a great sense of smell. Lyopluridon was a pliosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period and was a mighty marine predator. Lyopluridon used its nose to smell distant prey in the water. It was a carnivore and ate fish, sea reptiles, squid, ichthyosaurs, plesiosaurs and smaller pliosaurs. It would come to the surface to breathe. Plesiosaurus means near lizard. They use their teeth to catch fish and small marine animals. The neck is quite stiff. Its very strong jaws could also be used to attack other large predators. Mesosaurus was a large snake-like marine reptile that lived during the Cretaceous period. It was a powerful swimmer with a long streamlined body that had adapted to living in the seas. It had four short flippers for steering and a long powerful tail to propel it forward. It would come to the surface to breathe. Pylosaurus was not a fast swimmer so it would stalk its prey and then use a sudden burst of speed to catch and kill the prey. It grew to 46 feet or 14 meters long. Again it had a very powerful tail. Plesiosuchus one of my favourites. It lived during the late Jurassic period and was part of a diverse group of marine crocodilians in the family Metriorhynchids. It had long crocodilian jaws and ate large fish and other marine reptiles. It was nearly seven metres long. It would have been at the top of the marine food chain. Hydrotherosaurus grew to 40 feet long and weighed 10 tons. It had an exceptionally long flexible neck. It fed by moving along the ocean floor and using its long neck. I really like the colour of this Hydrotherosaurus too. The Attenborosaurus grew to about 16 feet. Its diet was mainly fish 
and other sea animals. It had an extremely long neck. It only had a few large teeth for chomping down on fish. It was a plesiosaur. Tanistrophius was 20 feet or 6 meters long, including a 10 foot or 3 meter neck. It could stand on the shore but needed water to help support the weight of its neck and tail. It mainly walked on the seabed because it was not a good swimmer. It would sneak its head into a shoal of fish and quickly catch its prey. Dolly Curran Cops is a short-necked plesiosaur from the late Cretaceous period. Its name means long-nosed face. It grew to 15 feet or 5 meters long. It used its long paddle-like flippers to move quickly through the water. Their large eyes helped them spot prey. Remember to tell me your favorite marine reptile. The battle between Mosasaurus and Pliosaurus is only a few seconds away. To receive all notifications from Superfun Reviews, first of all subscribe and then click on the bell icon and click on the words turn on or on a PC tick the box and say thank you. watching my video please stay right on here at super fun reviews for more great videos see you again soon please subscribe and share my videos on any of the social media platforms that you like to visit thanks once again